Hello dear brothers and welcome to your new Bible study. I'm glad you're joining and today we continue in 1 John 2 verse 13b and 14. And it says, I write to you dear children because you know the Father. I write to you fathers because you know him who is from the beginning. I write to you young man because you are strong and the word of God lives in you and you have overcome the evil one. In general, verses 12 to 14 have baffled scholars and commentators for centuries. They seem to break the flow of John's admonitions <coughs> and are repetitive and rather, rather vague. However, most seem to agree that they were written to encourage true believers, especially after he had just rebuked many of the false teachers in the church. An interesting difference between verses 12 and 13a this was yesterday and today 13b to 14 are that the first three encouragements use the present tense so I am writing you and the second three use the past tense I write or I have written you. It is possible that the past tense is referring to the Gospel of John, indicating that he is writing the same message for the same purpose now, that's in 1 John, as he wrote in the Gospel. And as a reminder, uh, Tom, the video of yesterday, told us that most commentators believe the designations, children, fathers and young men, indicate spiritual maturity, not chronological age. Also, since he covered what John wrote to children and fathers, today we will concentrate on what John said to young men or growing disciples. This reminds us of what God told Joshua as he was assuming leadership of the Israelites after Moses', Moses death. Have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous, do not be afraid and do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua 1 verse 9 Our strength doesn't come from our own power and ability, rather it comes from God. And sometimes when you feel the weakest, you are actually at your strongest, as you are now relying on the God of the universe. See 2 Corinthians 12 verse 7 to 10. Jesus said in Matthew 15 verse 7 to 8, If you remain in me and my word remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. This is to my Father's glory that you bear much fruit, showing yourselves to be disciples. Jesus, Jesus isn't saying that God is like a genie who grants our wishes. Rather, it tells us of the power we have if truly we remain in Jesus and his word remains in us. Peter 4 verse 7 tells us, Submit yourselves then to God, resist the devil and he will flee from you. While the devil is a powerful being, God is so much more. If we are submitting ourselves to God, we have the power to make Satan flee. One interesting note, when Jesus was being tempted by Satan in the wilderness, he didn't command the devil away. Rather, he used scripture as his weapon. That is another reason to have the words of God abide in us. Brothers, as Jesus used scripture to battle the evil one, memorizing scripture gives us the same weapon Jesus used. And if you haven't already, you can try to memorize the verses that we spoke about today. For example, Joshua 1 verse 8 to 9, or Matthew 15 verse 17 and 18, or 1 Peter 4 verse 7, for this next week. And study the verses as you memorize them, and God will sing them deep in your heart and your soul. And you can do it in English or in your own native language. <laughs> for me, that will be much easier to do it in Dutch. Um, but I truly believe that it will yeah, give you some courage and some strength in, 
yeah, in hard situation when you are challenged at your work or in your family or maybe even in church situations. May God bless you and uh, hope to see you next time.